Hi, my name is Steve, Project Manager at Rock Science. Today, we're going to talk about ground improvement feature in Cero3. Ground improvement has three options in Cero3, and those are soil replacement, stone columns, and vibro compaction. Soil replacement will allow users to define any region and replace it with user-defined soil properties. So in case if you have any materials with composite stiffness, you can do so by assigning this stiffness and replace it with the reason that you define with the use of soil replacement. Stone columns is a second feature in ground improvement where it allows users to assign the compacted stone columns underneath the soil. There are three parameters that the user needs to define, such as column spacing, column diameter, and elastic modulus of the stone columns. It is very effective for cohesive soil and silty sands. The last option for ground improvement is a vibro compaction, where it allows users to fill the voids by vibrating the soil underneath. And this method is effective for sands and it's not so effective for cohesive soil or silty sands. Let's take a look at our model to see this feature in Cero3. Here's a model of Cero3 with three layers of soil and groundwater underneath the ground surface. And we have the structural loads on the top with the query points to represent the results. If you right click on the ground improvement and go to the properties, you will see that we are using stone columns as a method for ground improvement. If you click on this drop down, you will be able to see three different options of soil replacement, fiber compaction, and stone columns. And if we select stone columns, then you will see the column spacing with the pattern, with the spacing. And also you can define the column properties for the top depth, diameter, bottom depth, and elastic modulus of the stone columns. And you can also decide to assign the different stages for the stone columns. Another option that I want to discuss is add stone columns in different stages. If you select this option, it allows you to define different stone column stiffness along the depth of the soil. So in case if you have soil that is less stiff than the other layers, you can assign it with stiffer stone columns to improve the sediments. And you can decide the top depth and bottom depth with its respective elastic modulus of the stone columns. Also, diameters can change as well. This concludes the overview of the ground improvement feature in Cero 3.